to those that cleave to the body. And as it stands today, all right, the oppressed of our nation, starting with the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, is an afflicted cry, man, okay? They sorrows have uh, deepened, okay? And, and they're just in a, a pit, man, in snares. Either way it go, and everywhere on every side, okay, the poor is ensnared, man, you see? And what we gonna come out with today, all right, this is is displeasing news, man. Okay, because it's what? It's always what? One thing after another, especially with what? The Israelites, man. All right? This got something going on. We got something going on right now, man. All right. It's a lot about that. But furthermore, okay, they are uh, uh, continuing. They, they, they keep our enemies finding a way to continue to tread on the necks of us, man. Okay, about what? Unrighteous decrees. Okay, you got that? You can start that off with that, man. Then this is the unrighteous decree. It's, it's dealing with child support. All right, it's already unrighteous. But then what? They're going they're basically furthering the affliction of it, man. Yeah. All right, go ahead, brother. Uh, you say a, something. You want to say this something? Book Isaiah chapter ten verse one. It says, "Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees." Yup. Woe to them that decree unrighteous decrees, man. All right, because when you put a decree in place, if it's unrighteous, then what? It it uh it afflicts the people. That's that's why I say the wicked is uh over the people as a uh, roaring lion and a ranging bell, man. You see, because they're what they're they're afflicting the people further and further. You can make a point, brother. All right, it says, and uh, I'll read it from the top again. It says, "Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees." And that right grievousness which they have prescribed. Yep. Because you know when they go into these laws and they make these things, it's it's putting Jake in a, 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 a grievous state, you know? Yes. Putting you in a, a sorrowful state. All right. Furthermore, to break down the, the people of Israel, as the brother went into, we so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man. All right. That's what Esau's main goal is, to keep you what? Keep you down, all right, keep you oppressed. All right, through his laws, through his through his justice system, as it says in uh, is that wisdom of Solomon too. Yep. You know, let our strength be the law of justice. Law of justice. Right? Yep. You know, and that's what he do. That's his main power. For the yeah. feeble, is nothing work. We the feeble. Exactly. So they look like they ain't worth it anyways. And they go, they come with laws as they go. As they go. Tomorrow they got new laws in place. Man. Yeah. Hey, the laws of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah been the same forever. forever. He didn't add it to it. He didn't take away from him. Once he prescribed them or wrote them down and gave the direction of Moses to bring them down as a law, they have been the same, brother. Right? All right? They haven't, they haven't changed. They haven't amended. They haven't did anything. Okay? So when you put things in place that are unrighteous or unjust, okay, to or, or oppress and suppress the people, then what? That brings about a what? A disdain from the Most High, man. Because you think, first of all, you are doing it to his people, per se. This is prescribed. It says to write down as a direction, law, or rule. Yeah. So they are writing this yeah. down, yeah. right, in their system to basically be like, this is a law now. Yeah. And if you don't abide to the law, then you're going to what? Get thrown in jail. Yeah. Which is many men in jail on for child support, exactly. unpaid child support, unpaid child support which man. you never heard of this in the ancient time. Yeah. Where, where do you ever saw David go to jail for... Uh, child support because right. he didn't pay his child support this month man <laughs> come on man yeah, all right it's just unrighteous go ahead brother it's verse two it says to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people yep. you see it says that the widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless <laughs> all right because what you do you take the your, your main objective is to do what take the father out of the home man yep. all right that's, that, that's the strength of the home that's who keeps the home together all right that's who uh the chastisement of the children all right that's the leader of the household so what you do with the the whole child support thing as the brother go into you give the so the, the the black woman an avenue out so mm -hmm. oh i don't need my man no more i'm gonna just put him on child support yep. all right and i'm gonna make more money as if he was still here you know which is as we went into that's an unrighteous decree man yep. you see this uh this a letter I write that I got. Let me turn this the brightness down. It's a lot. 
this another that I received, well, not I received, it's not me per se, all right, but somebody that I know received it and they showed it to me. I'm gonna turn this all in. Can't even see this shit. Yeah, it's a lot of I want to show brothers, you know, because this, this is vexation, man, and we got to get out of here, and that's why men got to pray to get up out of here, man. You see? Yo, if you can see here, you can't see this. Don't worry about it. I read it. That's okay. All right. This is a, this is a, yeah, this is a verification a verification of the increase of child support beyond the age of 18, man. Now, many men know, I, I just blotted out the names, you know, because I was going to put it on. I actually was going to do it like a screen record, but more or less, I wanted to go into a lesson, all right, to furthermore show why we got to get the hell up out of here, man, and to brothers, and that it can be also uh, encouraging for brothers that Hey, we ain't gonna even have all these years like that anyways, man, to continue these people. They first they coming with that, they already done implemented the NFC, all right, the, the, they're coming with that uh, digital payment. Yeah. So when they do that, we we, we free. Yeah. We free of any, we're gonna be free of any uh, charges or, or any any payments we have to pay to the government, technically, yeah. man. Yeah. So Jake, we about to be uh, free, man, yeah. as prisoners of payments, okay? Now we we ain't gonna have a way to pay, but we don't care for that. Cause we know the law gonna gonna be that. Yeah, it's time for this All right? But this is a verification to increase child support beyond the age of 18, man. Now, I'm gonna let the brother read the details and then we'll get a Alright, it says Louisiana R dot S uh -huh. nine three one five dot two two. And yep. just to say, you Look know, that's up. the that's the that's what he like to do. Yeah, he like it. to put it under the number <laughs> of five six number. seven yeah. dot three <laughs> dot five six. Like, bro, what yeah. are you doing? What are you Who doing? Look that up. Yeah, you know. But it says allows for the child support to. This be is where you look it up at. Yeah. Louisiana R S. Uh huh. Dot. I'm I'm that's taking right R S is maybe. Some, I don't know. some service or service yeah, yeah. nine dot three allows but go ahead allows for child support to be paid to a child up to the age of 18. Yep. if one of the situations listed below exists mm -hmm. our records indicate that the child named above will soon reach 18. so this letter that came to this person that i know all right, child is about to make 18. Okay, go ahead. It says if the child is unmarried, full-time student in good standing, in a secondary school or equivalent, and is dependent upon either parent, support may continue until the child reaches the age of 19 or graduates, whichever comes first. Go ahead. So if the child don't graduate, then they could, by law, have a default in there and say, well, he never graduated, so you just got to pay in case if he do go. Yeah. Right? It, it could be something they implement like that. Well, he might go in a year his mind not decided. Go ahead. It says school attendance for this child must be verified. Yep. Support for a child who has been determined developmentally disabled may continue until the age of 22. As long as the child is a full-time student in a secondary school. So he could be enrolled in a school, but determined developmentally disabled. Now, most of these children are mistress monsters. That's right. Technically, they all got ADHD. They all do. So when they go to get an evaluation, all the, uh, the doctors, which all the doctors do here is falsify the psychiatrist. Right. They're going to just say he got a problem. Yeah, just so, so they can put him on the medicine, you know, put him on whatever to, you know, make sure, hey, he really got that. So yeah. Got it, yeah. They, they, so now they're what? They're getting prescriptions from the, from the drugstore, yep. right? You're spending your money for that. Or they Medicaid, they getting that. They also getting money from the father, unjust money from the father, man. So it's all around the board just unjust, man. You see, go ahead. If you are receiving support for a child who is developmentally disabled, mm -hmm. please furnish this office with a medical statement, like you just said, yeah. <laughs> to this effect in a statement verifying that he or she is attending school. If a court has placed a child under continuing tutorship because the child is above the age of 15 and possesses less than two thirds of the intellectual functioning of a child of the same age. Maybe basically there's something wrong with him, 
right. Let's just, you know, sum it all up. Go ahead. The child does not attain the age of majority yep. in this situation. The child support is continued until further order of the court. <laughs> until further order of the court. Yeah. So they order, well, you got to pay child support as long as this child lives. You're going to have to pay as long as he lives. If he's determined to be something wrong with him. Man. Now, again, something is wrong with all of these children. Exactly. Technically. Go ahead, brother. This is. Now, um, the agency needs a copy of the court order. Right. This is. The court may extend support for an unmarried child who is incapable of self-support because of intellectual or physical disability manifested before the age of 18. And ain't nobody marriage no more because right. people are, are all lovers of themselves. They don't have the old personal union of actually having sex and going down because what? Nowadays, 85% uh, of marriages ending in divorce. So they're not even sustaining it. People are not even doing it, man. Yeah. All right, go ahead. They say a court, uh, well, uh, uh, age of 18. If the court has extended support for this reason, our agency needs a copy of the court order. If the child meets any of any of the criteria I listed above, except for an adult disabled child, please provide verification as indicated on the following page. Yep. If you have any questions, please contact this office at the above address or telephone number. Sincerely. Sincerely. Who? Wanda, Wanda T. Jordan, T. Jordan T. Department, 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 Department Representative. All right, so. This is a this is a, a classified uh, state letter. Yeah. All right, and you could go look it up. All yeah. right. So, what we want to go into, man, the oppression of our people. It just at this point, oppression gotta make you mad. We are oppressed, man. All right. And you have men of the Lord on child support. You have other men. We don't. We only really care about the men of the Lord. But nonetheless, you know, because they're doing wicked deeds, man. They have turned to what the woman against us. Okay, and we are what? We're in positions to where we just, we got a bag with holes in it. Yeah, all right, it. that's part of our curses. We get that too, all right? But these these devils is increasing the affliction, man. Go ahead, brother. It's the book of Baruch, chapter 3, verse 8. It says, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, when thou hast scattered us for reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payments. Got it. You see? And... You know, brothers, is, like the brother was saying, you know, you got brothers that's all child support, all right, brothers that, you know, you might have a situation with the IRS, whatever it be, but, you know, as we just went into this letter, we can see that these unrighteous decrees lead to us being subject to these payments, man, right. which is why we need to get the hell up out of here, you know? Yep. Yeah. Proverbs 20, 20, 16. We're going to get a few precepts and we're going to get up out of here, yeah. but the point is, man, all right, these, these curses, you got to, you got to, want to get a body up man for the vexation of spirit these curses is overwhelming us we already don't have no money they have to pay extended amount of money all right that's a curse man go ahead brother this is the book of proverbs chapter 22 verse 16 it says he that oppresses the poor to increase his riches and he that give it to the rich shall surely come to want because this the thing all right when they do that child support something is in it for Edom. it ain't just that they getting the money from the women they're taking a percentage of the child support, right? Yeah, yeah. To funnel the money through, all right? They're taking a percentage. So with them taking a percentage, you put millions of father on child support, and they just take $10 from millions, say 10 million fathers, all right? Yeah. You start to look at the hundreds of million, man. This is a come up, yeah. you when know? You look at, like, you know, I got brothers in the world and, you know, different friends of mine, all right? When I, you know, we get to have talk about different things, and you talk about the child support situation, man, it's, it's I done seen numbers. I'm talking about 90,000 yes. 90, yeah. for one child, man. And, and back pay. And back pay, that too. <laughs> 90,000, 80,000 for one child, man. Yes. You know? And you these, know. The, even our, uh, even these celebrities, they under the knife too because uh, yes. they, they are, 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 are charged you know, millions of dollars to what take care of children. The women are setting them up just to have children. Well, they get spousal support. They get spousal support. <laughs> they have to take care of the woman they leave the rest of their life. Yeah. So if you <laughs> if you make it in the world, which is, you know, like the brother been alluding to, just leave. you gotta get the hell up out of here. <laughs> but if you make it in the world, say you get your millions, all right, you get your, you know, you get your bag, all right, and your woman leave you with the kids, well, not 70% of your income or whatever you done made, it go to them it now. Go to her. <laughs> you see? Crazy. 
So we ain't got no way out of it, man. <laughs> ain't no way out. Ain't no way out. You on Israelite, ain't no way out. No indeed, man. Go ahead, give me uh, Ecclesiastes uh, 5 and 8. It says, um, there's Ecclesiastes in the Bible, chapter 5, verse 8. It says, if thou seest the oppression of the poor and violent converting of judgment. 20, 20 my bird, bro. Wait, read, it, read it again. It said, if thou seest the oppression of the poor and violent perverting of judgment and justice mm -hmm. in a prophet. See, this violent perverting of judgment and justice in a prophet. His soul is lifted up. It's not upright in them, man. That's right. All right? So they got the mindset of their, of their system of injustice to what? Constantly what? Oppress the poor and the feeble people, man. Yeah. All right? Constantly. Do justice. And they say, like, look, this is justice. Yeah. Through their prophecies, man. Go ahead, brother. It says, uh, for for he that no, is marvel not. Oh, Salaki. Marvel not at the matter. Yeah, don't don't look at the matter like, okay, they're oppressing it. Don't look at it like, man, what I'm gonna do, I'll be stressed out over it. All right. Tomorrow that is to stay up on it. Don't stay up on it like that because there's a reason why. Go ahead. It says for he that is higher than the highest regarded, mm -hmm. and there be higher than they. Yup, so he that be highest of the highest regarded, and that's, we talking about the most high, all right? Cause he gonna call judgment on it. Yeah. So don't marvel at it, right? right? We just have to endure it for a little season, all right? Until the whole payment system be flipped up and we'll be good, man. That's right. All right? Yeah. So this admonishment, the brothers, go ahead. Like if I can read it in the NLT, you got the it. first part. Yep. It says, don't be surprised if you see a person so not, if you see a poor person being oppressed by the powerful and the justice, and if justice is, so not, I'm gonna read it from the top again. It says, judge. it yep. says, don't be surprised if you see a poor person being oppressed by the powerful, and if justice is being miscarried, miscarried. throughout the land. Yes, boy. Yeah, and you see, <laughs> you, as you can see, day in day out, you know these unrighteous decrees is a part of what the justice being miscarried throughout the land, man. You know, because they're not following the laws that the Lord gave us. Y'all about shooting outside. You know? Yep. Let's see if they had a little more. That was pretty much the point in that, in that NLT. Yeah, give me uh, Proverbs 22 and 22. Gotcha. Uh, it's Proverbs chapter 22, verse 22. It says, rob not the poor. Rob not the poor. It's been, this is robbery, man. All right, when you take from a man that didn't give them to you, you're robbing him. Yeah. All right, and we are all people robbing Sproul, according to the book of Isaiah, man. We already in prison holes and prison houses. We already behind the eight ball. We already got the curses on us. We already got bags with holes in it, man. We already losing, man. All right, we already down. They're kicking us while we down, man. You take it from people that don't have anything. Go ahead. And that's a part of them furthering their affliction. Furthering their affliction. And they did, it, they did our day number on us. All right, the time of slavery, Jim Crow. But now, what they do, they, they number through us through this justice system that they have, man. You know? It says, uh, rob not the poor because he is poor. Because he poor. <laughs> Come on, man. I forgot to get that when you were at the 16. Yeah. All right, that's why we went back to the 22 or whatever. It says, rob not the poor because he's poor. Yeah. All right, he don't have anything. All right, just like when David, all right, we're even doing on a righteous kick. When David took from Uriah and uh, 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 Nathan read the story to him, he said, when you take one sheep from a man and, and all he had, what would you do? David said, I'll kill that man. All right, so that's what the Lord is going to do. That's why the highest of the highest regard what you're doing, which is the most high. Go ahead. It says, he the oppressed the afflicted in the gate. Right, so we are we are already afflicted and you oppressing us, man. All right? You further the affliction. Okay, you making it way worse for us, man. Go ahead, brother. It says, verse 23, for Yahweh will plead their cause. That plead is judge, man. Yahweh Shabbat, man. All right, the Lord, that plead that is judge. Okay, the Lord gonna judge our cause, go ahead. And spoil the soul of those that spoil them. He gonna spoil the soul of them that spoil them, man. He don't taking the goods back and giving it back to them. The Lord won't murder y'all, man. Okay, cold blood. It said you should sin that you're a man of blood, blood shall pursue. Okay? The Lord won't, not only won't take everything you took away from us, but he also gonna take your life too, man. Yeah. All right? And eradicate you, starting with Esau, well, Esau, Edom, after a thousand years, man. Yeah. The chief 
uh, oppressor, man. How is the oppressor going to cease? The Lord, the Lord going to cease you, man. Go ahead, brother. Nah, give me uh, 28 and 3, man. Proverbs 28 and 3. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 3. It says, a poor man that... No, that, that ain't it. It's a lot. Uh, uh, that ain't the same. I'm covering four and throw the one. Who read the Ezekiel 5 and 8? Give me the Ezekiel 2 I don't know what it is. It's Proverbs 14 and 31. It says, He that oppresseth the poor reproacheth his maker. And A, the Lord made Esau eat him, and he that oppresseth the poor chiefless Esau eat him. Then he got the other nations joined them to him. All right, so what you do is reproach his maker. So what you're doing, you're you're making the Lord angry, okay? And he calls you to do that. He puts you in a position. He lifts you up so he can show you his power, all right? And allows you to what? Oppress uh, the poor people, man, okay? It says, go ahead. But he that honoreth him had mercy on the poor. So, but he that honoreth had mercy on the poor, all right? And we're the ones that's, that's what? Uh, Giving the uh the uh, healing, help healing the poor with what these words of the scriptures. Right. All right, that's mercy on the poor, man. All right, we're telling our people, man. Look, we gonna get on. Uh, uh, judgment is coming for those that rule over us, man. You see, go ahead, brother. Uh, Got some? Oh, all right, come. Uh, uh, Ezekiel 20, 20, 29. I got one more after that. It's Ezekiel chapter 22, verse 29. It says, The people of the land has you have used oppression and yep. exercised robbery and have vexed the poor and needy. Right, so when people of the land use the robbery and vex the poor and needy, all right, go ahead, brother. It says, They have oppressed the stranger wrongfully. Right, so they oppress the stranger wrongfully. And we, we're a stranger in this land, man. Right. All right. But even in the nation of our people, when a stranger will come and he's of our nations, we'll take him in and do right by him, man. All right? Now, seeing we already behind the eight ball, you think Esau throws a bone, but he throw the other nation's bones, man. Hey, uh, uh, Abraham come in, he get a stove. He get tax free exemption, boy, up too, man. All right, boy, you got something? They get everything they, they, they want. They get the free, the free housing. They get the, uh, the, the food stamps. Yep. Right, they get, they, look at the, the, uh, the immigrants coming over here now. They're kicking people out of hotels and condos, man. The stage just be bringing in cities, man, for free. You see? Right. But uh, this is the wisdom of silence. Which, which, even the reason why I brought that out, all right, that's sins of Israel. But even when you liken it to Esau, Edom, bro, it's like if the if our own people, yo, for one fool, if our own people, like the Lord said, all right, use oppression, exercise robbery. All right, they have oppressed the stranger wrongfully. Hey, when you when you take into consideration what you're doing, when you're supposed to do the opposite of that, all right, the Lord is at, at uh, odds with that, man. You see? And that's why, how much more the, the wicked nations that actually do it, man? That's a great judgment, but go ahead, brother. This uh, this is the wisdom of Solomon 2, verse 10. It says, let us oppress the poor righteous man. Yep, yep. Let us not spare the widow, yep. nor the reverence the ancient gray hairs of the age. Yep. Let our strength be the law of justice, for that which is feeble is nothing, for that which is feeble is found to be nothing worth. You know? Yep. And that's the, that's the mind states of the rulers of this world, man. All right, let us oppress the poor righteous man. All right, the apple of the most high's eye. Let us continue to kick them while they're down. You know, let us do everything we can in their power so they don't rise up against us, man. All right. It says, uh, let us not spare the widow. All right, you so-called uh, Hispanic. All right, you, you uh, black woman. You know, Native Americans, man. 
This devil set up to not spare you, all right? To completely, utterly destroy the household of you so-called Israel, you Israelites, man. It says, in, in law reverence the ancient gray hairs of the age. So what do you, older men, all right, older women, you know, you just can't get right in this society, man. That's right. Which is furthermore expounding on the point that we need to get the hell up out of here, man. That's right. You know? James 2 and 6. Yep. You're right, brother. All right. They haven't spent, they, didn't have, they don't care the children. They didn't, they didn't spare anything. Nothing. So the Lord ain't going to spare none of them. The Lord going to cut on son, nephew, everybody. And that's a fair deed. That's a fair bid, man. You yeah, get what uh, you pay for. You get what you pay for. All right. It's all James right. 2 and 6. Start at 5. Okay. It's James 2 and 5. It says, Hawking my beloved brother, yep. had not the most high chosen the poor of this world, yep. rich in faith. So the poor of this world the Lord chosen. Yep. So if the wicked decide to oppress them, you are oppressing the Lord's chosen people, man. That's right. Like uh, what uh, Hitler said, uh, they have gotten the Jews of the Lord. Yeah, he said if they if the if the if the so-called blacks knew that they were the real Jews, they wouldn't be in a position that they was in. Yeah, no, he, he, he said uh, yeah, that, I don't think uh, I that they, so. they, they they got the Jews of the Lord in their yeah. hands, yeah. man. Yeah. All right, go ahead. It says, Meaning what? That's the, we, are, we, are the, we are the precious things of the Lord. Yeah. All right, go ahead, brother. It says, and heirs of the kingdom, yeah. which he had promised them that love him. Right, so it's a question mark. Okay, go ahead. But ye have despised the poor. Yeah. Do not rich men oppress you. And the rich do oppress us, man. All right? Rich, you deal with, even, you got the rich men of our nation can help us. Yeah. All right? They don't do Because why? The rich men are oppressing them. Yeah. So they, if they tell them, look, if y'all go to the LeBron James, let them have enough money to, to start our whole nation. Just, yeah. him, you just it's talking him. about a few men, him, Floyd Mayweather, and Jay-Z can all get together and have our nations jumping, man. Yeah. All right? But guess what? They don't press too. But who the rich man say, look, if y'all go and help them, we're going to do what? We're going to There you go. Look go what ahead. happened to Kanye West. Yep. He said, oh, he just started He just started talking about it. Yep. And they took $400 million away from him overnight. They're about to say that. Go ahead. <laughs> it says, and draw you before the judgment seat. So he called them before judgment seat, yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. All right, and they call us before judgment sees these courts and justice courts for tickets, yep. camera tickets, all kind of violations, man. Yep. All right, child support, all these are judgment seats, man. Yep. All right, but the rich men are oppressing us, man. Yep. And even the rich of our nation, they helping oppress us, bro. Yep. Okay, so however you won't swing it, it's still the same way. Okay? It's, it's pretty much cool, man. You know, because it was, you know, a Bible people. So we, we show the balance of each way, all right, where they do be through Israel, all right, oppressing our people, or where they be through the wicked. The point is, oppression of the poor, and the, and the poor, he said, the he have chosen the rich, the poor in spirit. That's what the Lord care about. Our people that's poor and two thirds of our people, the Lord don't care because their sins, they're not weary of their sins, all right? That's why the Lord said, don't be weary and well doing for us because there's a judgment, and we understand that. Okay, we're going to continue to get oppressed, and even as the days keep drawing nigh, we're going to be even more oppressed, brother. Yeah. All right? We're, we're going to be, be put in a position to where we might can't even afford food. Yeah. Okay? Because why? The oppression going to be an increase, man. All right? But we just got to stay the course and make sure, all right, we don't allow the oppression of the wicked to what? To overtake us, man. Because the Lord going to lift up a standard for us in that day, man. You know? So, yeah, man. But that, I see is that being an unrighteous decree. All right, and as you brothers know, okay, there's a there's a there's a, a light at the end of the tunnel, man. For us, man, we gotta just endure, you know. And the afflictions is part of the part of the walk. So hey, at the end of the day, brothers on child support, okay. Look, the Lord ain't forgotten us, man. He will remember us, man. But that's it, brother. That's all. So you know, Lord willing, this video was that a fine. First and foremost, to the whole elect into those that keep to the bottom of that, I'd like to give infinite honors and prayers to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, and God the honors to the elders and apostles of Green Millstone, salutations to the item that's pushing it to the sincerity, to the next time I'm going to say Shalom.